Soren Kierkegaard, a Danish philosopher from the early 19th century, he said, man is a constant trembling. Of course, he meant, when he said man, he meant man, woman. He said, man is a constant trembling. His whole work, his whole philosophical work, his whole existential work was dedicated to understand what is this anxiety, this fear, this trembling, this insecurity which we all are living, which we all have inside. He published several books. One of his books I liked very much was called Fear and Trembling. 175 years later, now, how we are today, after all the progress that we have made, man is still trembling, man is still anxious, man is still insecure. What is this insecurity, this trembling that we are living in our life every day, all the time? And what do we do about it? How do we address our insecurity? We go out, we identify ourselves with things, we identify ourselves with culture, with country, with religion, with belief systems, with everything, with community, with everything that gives us some identification, some hold against this insecurity. Or we go out and possess. We possess bank accounts, assets, house, car, and so on. If some of you are lucky enough to be at one point of time in life where, they, where there was less money, where you had less money, you know that you had worries, you had insecurity. But you also know now when you have more, there is more insecurity. Now you don't know what to do with it. Now you have to be also worried about what will happen, whether it will last or not last. The more we invest ourselves outside, we see that this game is not really serving us. This is not really decreasing the insecurities, rather increasing the insecurity. I'm not here to suggest you to not have what you have, but all I'm trying to point at is we are constantly investing ourselves outwardly, outside, to address something that is inward. We are never looking inwards. Why are we not looking inwards? A Sufi mystic, Rabia, she was one evening out of her cottage outside searching for something, looking for something. For several minutes, she was just looking for something outside her cottage. People in the village, they all live very close, nearby. They saw her. They came to help. They, they said, what are you looking for? She said, I'm looking for my needle. So they started also looking and two, three, four people kept on looking, including her. For several minutes, hours, it was almost getting dark. Then one of the wise men said, okay, but can you, do you remember where you lost it so that we can narrow down our search? She said, that I cannot tell you because I'm embarrassed of that. The guy said, what is it to be embarrassed about? She said, I lost it in the house, inside the house. And the guy thought, well, she has the reputation to be insane, to be crazy. But this is totally a mad case. She knows that she lost the needle inside. Why is she looking outside? So they asked her, why are you looking for the needle outside when you know that you have lost it inside? She said, inside is darkness. Outside is some light. So that's why I'm looking outside. What this means is we also look outside because maybe there is inside darkness. Maybe we do not un look inside and understand what's inside. So we never look inside. We only look outside. That's 
a natural move to look outside, to invest ourselves constantly outside to address our insecurity. We never look inside. Meditation is the chance to look inside, to see inside, to see what is it that is inside and not just always looking outside.